everybody, I'm Liz, and today is the day I do my massive 14 book March reading wrap up. All right, so that's an April Fool's on you guys, but it's really the jokes on me because there is no way in hell I'm ever going to get a reading month of 14 books. I've been able to pull off 10, but I've never been able to pull off 14. So, yay, April Fools, happy April Fools, it is April, and finally, after three days of rain, I get some sunshine. So in reality, I'm going to talk about the five books I finished in the month of March. The first book I finished was The Well of Ascension, book two in the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson, and so much happens in this book, it is so so insane and I am so in love with this series that I can see myself giving every single book a 5 out of 5 because it is such an epic, amazing fantasy novel. There's, you know, alchemy so they're manipulating metals as they ingest them to be able to perform certain feats. This book takes off a year after the demise of the Lord Ruler, and that's really the only thing I'm gonna say. We have the Mistborn Vin and then Ellen Venture trying to figure out how they're going to rule this empire, try to figure out how they are going to prevent chaos and prevent this evil entity of the darkness, and it is just so good, so much stuff happens. And I have already picked up the third and last book in this type of trilogy, and I'm only about 50 pages into it, so I haven't gotten much further since when I first started reading this. The next book I finished was my reread of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I used the illustrated edition, and I also listened to it on audiobook. The illustrations in this book are beautiful, and my reread of this made me feel so warm and fuzzy and I have to say my favorite character for sure is Hagrid and I also absolutely love Neville Longbottom because he has so much more of a presence in this book than he does in the movie and obviously I can't give Harry Potter less than 5 out of 5. I just love the book series so much and I'm so excited to finally reread the series. And I can reread the series because I have my hands on Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the illustrated edition, and I've already thumbed through some of the beautiful illustrations in this book, and I just can't wait to show it off when I start my reread. I haven't yet, but I will very, very shortly. The next book I finished is Stormglass by Maria V. Snyder. This is the first book in her spin-off series that takes place after the events of Fire Study in her study series. And I did not like this book at all. Like, I felt like it was very tropey. There was this like forced love triangle. It follows a girl named Opal Cohen and you meet her in the study series and she was just making the worst and the wrongest decisions. She was always getting into trouble, and I just couldn't really connect with any of the new characters that came into play in this series, and I was really not sure if I was gonna go on or not because I ended up giving this book a two out of five stars. The only reason why it didn't get a one star rating was because you do get to see Yelena, Ari, Janko, and all of these other characters from the study series and I just loved their banter so much that I did end up boosting it a little tiny bit. The next book I finished was Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo and oh my gosh this book so many things happen. It is such a great fantasy novel and I do love Leigh Bardugo's work. She is amazing and it took me very long to read this book, approximately two and a half months. And that's a long time, but I didn't feel like I was forgetting anything as I was reading it. I was still very interested and involved in the characters. I just couldn't fit reading this with my busy schedule. So. 
I still really loved it. I absolutely loved the plot and the plot is such a big drive of the story. But the character development and learning about their backstories was also a huge drive. Inej is probably my favorite character, but I also absolutely adore Nina. And just learning about their stories, it is so, so great. So I don't have anything wrong or like negatives to say about this story. I do have to say I had a lot of struggles with pronunciation at the first of the book. And I was really bummed that I didn't get a pronunciation guide, but I found pronunciations online. I am actually currently reading The Crooked Kingdom, and it's so glorious. Like, I read almost half of the book in one sitting. I was hoping to have finished it before recording my wrap-up. However, yesterday I did not get as much read because I had all the stuff I needed to do and then I had work. So I didn't end up finishing it like I thought I was going to, but I plan on finishing it very, very soon because I need to know what happens and I need to know if they succeed in their schemes and all of that jazz. So now we're gonna get to the last book that I finished in the month of March. And this has a little bit of story to it because it is Sea Glass by Maria B. Snyder, book two in the Glass series. Basically, I decided I was going to give this series one more shot because I needed to know what happens in the Storm Glass series in order to understand book four in the study series which also happens to be book one in the Soul Finder trilogy. This is called Shadow Study and it takes place six years after the events of Fire Study, which means it takes place two years after the events of the Storm Glass book series. And I was actually surprised that I enjoyed it, guys. I went from a two star first book in a series to a four star in the second book. So that is miraculous. I, for some reason, just when I had decided to read the book and I got through the first 50 pages, I was actually hooked. And I think it's because, you know, Opal had made up her mind at who she was gonna be with. And I felt like, I don't know, something clicked with me in that book. And so I actually really enjoyed it. There was obviously a few things that irked me in the book. However, I am definitely moving on to the last book in the series, which is called Spyglass. And I am waiting for it as I'm on the library wait list for that book. So now you have an idea of the books I have finished in March and that I am starting to read and hopefully finish reading during the month of April. First we have The Heroes of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, The Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, and last we have A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. This is book two in the Song of Ice and Fire series or better known as the Game of Thrones series. I am exactly halfway into this book right now, and I don't think I'm going to finish it. I think I'm going to DNF this book because I seriously just, I can't do it. My mental status reading this book is just getting crushed. There is the language and the raping and pillaging going on and the bragging about said raping and pillaging going on in this book because as the title states, kings are fighting, there is war going on. This just seems so vulgar and foul to me in the language and how it's written. It seems very boasty and braggy about it and I can't handle it. I got to the exact halfway mark and I had to watch really happy, cheesy, corny videos because it put me in this really bad mindset. And so I don't know if I'm going to continue on. If you have any ideas, thoughts, whatever, that it gets better, 
thing going on with this book series, please let me know because I want to finish this book because I want to continue on with this series and, you know, read about the characters I love and enjoy, but I just don't know if I can handle it. I don't know if my mental state can handle it. And so I'm definitely going to be thinking about that this month. So there is my March wrap up, April TBR, and thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments down below what are some of the favorite books you read in March and what books you plan on reading in April. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz if you like this video and want to see more. And I hope so much that I see you next time. Goodbye! Help. That's one way. <laughs> Help. Help. That was you.